banking on me on the bank. I smack her, she let her get spanked. Spank. I tackle her, bitch, let her wrestle. Young bachelor, we love play. So come out when I move the drapes. Know my move when I grab your waist. Know you fucking a man that's made. Hey, keep it low key, she ain't out to fame. No, she ain't out to fame. You ain't like that, oh, I used to be fucking. You don't have nothing to say. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So here is the pajama party I told y'all about that was going on um, right before Christmas with just like my son's um, grandparents, his aunt, his cousins, um, his uncle, me of course, or both his uncles, me of course, his dad, his granddad, and everybody. So we played this game that um, his aunt found on TikTok. I think she said TikTok or Facebook. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. Just scooping the money up. Y'all didn't blindfolded me. So obviously I can't see nothing I'm doing. I'm just, you know, hoping and praying that I'm getting some, some big money. But as y'all can see, I'm just getting a few dollars, <laughs> but that's okay. I think I got two fives. Yeah, I got two fives and $2. So I got $12 in the end, but I really want one of those scratch offs because obviously you can win a lot more money with a scratch off so yeah but most of it was the like little christmas bows and then so that's okay because it really was for the kids you know anyways but we had a good time and then this is like the next morning um we are opening just a few gifts with the kids so my son <laughs> he was so excited So guys, my braids, as y'all can see, like my parts are, are, are pretty much almost non-existent. Um, it's looking very frizzy. Um, as y'all can see, some of my hair is sticking out. It's just about that time for me to take them out. I'm super sad to see them go. But it's time. So, let's get to it. Um, I guess I'll start in the front. I really don't care. I don't feel like it'll make a difference. And I'm actually going to cut them because why not? Why would I add my time? For what? Not I thought my scissors went missing. But y'all see I added curly hair in here too. Curls are starting to, they starting to loosen up. But I honestly love when they look like that. So I don't know. Um, my hair is not that long, but I don't know what that is. So I just. Don't take any chances and oh that's the curly hair. Okay, I'm good. So I'm gonna just go in and cut them all. Hmm. And y'all, I'm really thinking about doing, um, or I really want some knotless braids. Like, that's genuinely what I want to do next, but <laughs> I don't know. Like, because, okay, I have a few knotless in the back of my head right now. Let me show y'all. Well, y'all know. I, I've showed y'all before, but see, I have two rows of knotless down here at the bottom. And she was able to grow my hair no problem, but it's just, like, obviously, they're they not the neatest. Um, because my hair is short <clears throat> and it was shorter, um, you know, obviously when she did my hair. So I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I feel like it's long enough. I do. I genuinely don't think that's going to be the, or that is the issue for me. I think the issue is, um, it's just like, do I want to save my money or spend? That's what I'm struggling with. Oh yeah. Look at me. Hey, little powwow. He's so dope. The way it moves so fast. <laughs> I'm done. It's definitely giving a little bow wow right now. Um, back in early two down. But yes, y'all. So I don't know what to do. Like, um, obviously I can save money and just do the locks because I have everything I need already. And I'm gonna do them myself. So I don't have to go pay someone to do them for me. I can just do them. Um, so that's a free hairstyle. And it only takes me like four hours to do it on myself. And it probably wouldn't take me that long now that my hair is longer because it only took longer when my hair was shorter because I had to do a little bit extra, you know, work to get them secured. So um, I am really contemplating. Oh, and also like um, 
adding the curly hair like I saved my locks from last time washed them and all that great stuff so that I could reuse them so they already have curls added in there like the curly hair on the ends and in the hair so that's when it took me the longest was when I had to add the curly hair in and I had to add it to the ends but I don't have to do that this time. This time all I gotta do is literally braid down my real hair because now it's not gonna have to braid. I'm excited. It's not gonna have to braid now. So I'm gonna braid it down. Um, so I got all the top ones. I got all of these done. This is not gonna take no time to take down. But um, so yes, all I'll have to do is braid my hair down or section off, braid it down, you know, and then I'll add the lock on the end so it won't really be it's not gonna take me no time for real. Let me cut here. Um, because that was where the um curly hair added in was at. So it had like a little glue right there and a knot. So I had to cut it so that I could get past to take the break down. See, look, my hair done got a little longer, y'all. It's obviously still short, but we getting somewhere, okay? We are getting somewhere. That's all that matters. So Yes, I can either do the locks or obviously spend the money and get the knowledge braids now. But my birthday, see I told y'all, quick and easy. My birthday is in a month, okay? For all the Aquarius out there, I love you. Um, <laughs> our time is, um, is coming up. We're up next. Well, not really. Capricorn is really up next, but we're right after that, okay? So I'm super excited. I'm gonna be 28, so obviously it's not like a monumental birthday or anything. It's not one of the big ones, but I, I mean, I think all my birthdays are big. I don't give a damn about which age I'm turning. I'm excited for every one of them. So I'm ready to really enjoy just turning 28. I, like, I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't really know my plans. So that's why I'm like, okay, I don't really have plans yet. Like, they're setting stone for my birthday. And I don't know really what I'll be able to do with my hair at that point. Now, again, I know I can do locks. I know I can do braids. So it's just a matter of what braids do I want to do, what style. So I can do the locks now, hold them down, you know, keep those in until, you know, close to my birthday or my birthday, you know. <laughs> I can because last time I kept them in for like a, a little over a month. So I could keep them in for... um you know, the month of January to the end of it. And then I could obviously, um, if I didn't want to keep the locks in, I can also take my hair down and wear my real hair. Cause y'all know it's cute when like, I've showed y'all my straight press look. So it's cute either way if I wear my natural hair or if I um, do the locks, it's just a matter of what do, what do I want to do? I know like wearing my real hair out is a little bit high maintenance. Um, and I don't really like putting the heat on it if I don't have to, but obviously when you press it or when it's straight, it has to be pressed. So I'm just still trying to decide on that if I want to just put some heat on my hair or if I want to just put it back up so that I don't have to think twice about it and just do that for a month. So yes, but I have options. So that is what I'm trying to decide on while taking my hair down if I'm going to just go ahead and do the locks. Because really I've already decided on all this. I was thinking about doing it now, but I pretty much already decided. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna wait until my birthday because to me, that's such a cute look no matter what I do. Like if I go to the beach, it's cute. If I just go out here in Atlanta, it's cute. Like whatever I do, it'll be cute. So um, I, yeah, I pretty much decided I'm gonna do that for my birthday. Cause I don't, I, I just genuinely know. <laughs> like my hair's going fast, don't get me wrong. Like this is great. Yeah, I know I started off ball ball um, or with, just a very, very, very small amount of hair. But yeah, um, so I just don't believe, obviously I'm not naive enough to think it'll be long enough to do like a ponytail or um, a quick weave or anything like that, which I mean, I could do a quick weave, let me not say that. Is it is long enough to do that? I just wouldn't want to. I wasn't a quick weave girly before. I don't think I'm one now. I lost a little hair right here. Just so you yeah, can see realistically my hair has come out. I clearly did not cut it or anything. Um, I had to sweep it away, so that's why I'm just putting that right there because I already dropped some hair right there. Um, Y'all know my edges are just very sensitive and um, yeah, 
but they are still like going in very nice and thick so where that might have come from i don't know but it's okay so yes y'all i um i decided on that i think that i'm going to i really do believe i'm going to just go ahead and do the locks but i don't know like which one would be healthier for my hair like just wearing my real hair would be healthier I would think, you know, but I think also protective styles are, have been doing my hair really good because I, I'm not messing with it. Like, it gives me time to not think about it and to still look, like, look good. So, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I really have to take this time to really, like, think about what is best for me and my hair. Um, Just these next few weeks, I go back to work next week, you know, like, I just don't want to be thinking about, oh, what I'm doing with my hair, what I'm going to do with my hair. I don't want to think about that. I just, I already got enough on my plate to think about when I go back to work. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, we almost, really, we're almost done because I've already done all the ones in the back at the bottom. Right now, I'm just taking out the top cornrows. And yeah, but again, y'all see, we got a really decent amount of hair growth here. My hair length is it's nice, I don't know. I think this is about maybe two or three inches of hair. I genuinely don't know, I don't have a, um... y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, I do, let me get it. Obviously, I know this is for everything but my hair, but I'm just going to see, but all oh, this is feet and meters. It's not necessarily inches. Hmm. I don't even know what that meant. Oh, lock it. Um, okay, I don't know what it said, but the rule usually is as long as it's as long as this finger, um, you're good. And my hair is about as long as this finger. So, yep, it stops right at the end. So, we're getting somewhere. And, yeah. So I'm gonna finish taking these down, thinking about what I'm gonna do next. And we will wash my hair and yeah, we'll see what we're gonna do. How we're gonna handle this. Oh my God, I have a ponytail. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we really might be getting somewhere, y'all. I'm super excited. Like, oh my God. Whew, relax, wait. <laughs> this is great. Look at my hair. You better go, hair. I'm so proud. I am so freaking proud. Like, what? Who? What? I 
nails be done. One of these nails is snatching on my hair. I don't like that. Mm. Mm, this piece is long as heck. Look at that. I just pull it down on my forehead and that tells me when I'm going to get in somewhere but I remember y'all I used to cut my hair into a bang well cut a bang in my hair maybe like once a year so I really like the Chinese bang look back in the day you know it's real cute on me based on my bone structure and stuff so I would wear it I would rock it and I would like kind of track my hair growth like that because it would take my hair like six months to get past my face again. So like, let's say I would cut it here, but at six months, it's here. So I have hair that grows fast, at least I used to. Right now I'm still figuring out if I did still or not. Like, I don't know if it's changed over time because of all the bleaching and changing it up, but we're gonna see. I really do love like keeping it put up though. Like I cannot lie about that. Obviously I think the shortcut, like the black look is cute on me when I like flat iron it or even when I slick it back. I do think all of those looks are cute too, but I just think that that whole point is for me to grow it out. And um, the protective styles have really been helping with growing it out. So <sighs> I feel that I've decided on the locks, I'm not gonna lie. I feel that I've made a decision to just go ahead and do the locks. Because it's healthier for my hair for me to do the locks. It's not as healthy for me to take it out, um, you know, take out my braids and in my opinion, like go to putting heat on it every few days because with the short look we got some you still have to like press it out um and then obviously you gotta do touch-ups here and there um so yeah i don't know i really don't even really know let me really just stop yes i don't know which one is better for going your hair out um so i don't want to you know obviously give out any false info but i don't know for me that's just what it seems like and i don't know if it's because like in my brain because I don't see it to me that when I see it like after not seeing it for a while it seems like a dramatic amount of growth that may be what it is <laughs> or it could be that it really is a, a good amount of growth just happening in between time so I don't know I say just do whatever you think is best like whatever works for you if you're like a low maintenance person like me as well I'm like I don't even say I'm low maintenance I think I'm medium I don't even know if that's a real thing. Cause you got high maintenance, you got low maintenance. Like I'm in between. Cause obviously like I, I, I'm i a girly girl. I get my nails done, I get my toes done sometimes cause they be having fun getting in the nail salon. Um, you trust it all the time, but you know, you need to get your toes done. Like, oh, I had missed one in the back, I don't know. But um, yeah, um, basically what I'm saying is I keep up with myself. Um, I make sure I keep up with myself regularly. So um i wouldn't say i'm low maintenance um because i do have things that i have to do to like keep myself up as a woman um but i wouldn't say i'm high maintenance because i'm not like getting my hair done every week getting my nails done every week i'm not, I'm not doing that <laughs> i don't even like sitting in the salon for hours so absolutely not um that is not therapeutic for me personally i'll be ready to go home it's therapeutic for me to be in my house to know that i'm not gonna have to deal with traffic or stupid people foolishness y'all know i already told y'all i have so much peace when i'm home and i'm able to just be here and relax and i don't think too much about anything else um but yes for me realistically i don't know what's the best thing honestly because i keep saying i think this is best this is best i really don't know what's the best obviously um so i don't know let's see where we at Ooh, we in the middle of my forehead. 
that is okay i think last time i was like right here so we've had about this amount of growth from last time to now that's not bad i only have these in for a few weeks so i mean i'm not expecting for it to be oh my god i got a whole nother uh, inch of hair no but it's just the fact that it's growing that's a blessing in my eyes so i'm just super grateful here's the back back is growing really good I mean, all of it is just going really, really good, y'all. Um, I told y'all, like, look at that. I got ponytails now. Okay? Obviously, I can't do one ponytail. And that's okay. I probably can't even do two yet. Let's see. So my hair is kind of stretched out right now. I mean, maybe if I really try to, you know, brush it all and fit it all in the ponytail, it might work. You know? It really might. But I really wouldn't want to put all that tension on my hair with it being so short. Um, yeah, so it needs a really good washing, blow drying, conditioning, all those great things. A few months, I will really be able to put it into ponytails and do some cute looks and styles. But for right now, again, we're going to probably just put this shit back up. Just put it away. That way, Quay doesn't have to think about it. So... I'm going to go ahead, wash it. Um, wash it and I'll be back. Okay, so guys, this is my hair fresh, fresh out of the shower after washing it. Woo, y'all. It's really growing. It's really growing. It's just over here is still struggling, but that's all right. Because when I slick them or when I pull them back, they're not too thin. They're still thin, but they're not too thin. So honestly, just after seeing, because um, I did lose a little hair, um, a decent amount of shedding, I guess. I don't want to say I lost any hair. That sounds crazy. I had a decent amount of shedding. I was taking those out, so my hair is... I don't really know how to describe it. It's not fine, but it's not, like, super coarse either. It's, like, in the middle, so any old... Like, any little thing can and possibly break it off. Like, I'm not new to this shit. I'm true to it. Um, sometimes it would break off when I would bleach. Sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes it would break off when I was straightening in the past. Sometimes it wouldn't. What is all this? I think it's coming from this towel. And all this lint on me. Y'all can't really see it, but it's annoying. Although it's a house dress, I don't. I just still don't want to look dingy. The heck? Oh, it's all over me. I ain't gonna worry about it. So I'm gonna take my Olaplex um, hair mask. Oh. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> so I'm going to take my um, Olaplex hair mask and I usually squeeze out a few pumps. That's four. Let's see if this is enough sometimes. It is, sometimes it isn't because my hair is getting longer. I might have to use a little bit more than what I'm used to. Um, Y'all look at this. This is a lot of hair on my head right now. Like, it's blowing my mind. I have not had this much hair in so long so i'm gonna do about three more pumps i did that too i'm almost out of that too so i gotta get some more and i like to put a decent amount of my edges especially because that side is struggling um this side not so much but a little bit in that area and then i like to go in my nape to make sure i get the back too try to massage it in and i hate the olaplex i already said this in one of my other videos when i was uh, washing my hair or doing a wash day I really wish y'all would put more product in y'all bottles. Like $30 for that. And I get it, it's good product, but my goodness, for me, it's kind of giving, should I just find something else that's just as good, but not as expensive? But then again, I don't know what it is, you know? That's how they kind of got you in a corner because they know like, okay, we are overplayed. Ain't nobody topping us, you know? But I don't know, I might can find somebody that is. Um, I love Mazzani. So I might just go back to them because at least they have enough product in their product bottles. Um, 
but I really do like the way this system has been keeping my hair healthy and going out. Uh, though I've bleached it um, a lot over these uh, 10 years. Yeah. <sighs> it's still there. So I think I'm, um, I don't know, I might switch to Mazzani, just give it a try. Um, I'm just gonna brush this through. But yeah, I might switch to Mazzani just to see how it does. See if it's, you know, as good. See if they have something similar. Some type of bond system. I'm gonna look online actually when I finish doing this. Oof, okay, it's itching. And you see, it just kind of glides through my hair. I don't really need to do too much. Right through it. So, oh, my head is itching. That's why I keep seeing me kind of go back in in some parts because, whoo, my head is itching me. But I'm trying not to scratch it too much. But it's so itchy. It's so itchy. But yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to just leave this on um for the rest of the night and i'm going to use some of this i think this has also been helping yeah i don't know this is just the stuff i've been using and my hair has been growing so i don't know if it's help i mean clearly it's helping because my hair's growing so that's why i keep saying i've used this it's helping my hair grow because these are the products that i'm using i don't really know if they are or <laughs> like if my, my hair grow is going to grow anyways but I just genuinely think that these items, uh, not items, these products are helping. I really do. I have full confidence that they are. I really do, really do. So I'm going to keep using them. Um, <laughs> every time I look at how much hair is sitting on my head, it just blows my mind. So yeah, and I'm going to, after I, um, Finish putting this on. I'm gonna pop a shower cap on my head and um yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up pretty much. Um I'll make another video with me styling it. Um this is literally just wash day, and this is my full wash day routine. And of course, you guys, if you have not seen my other Vlogmas videos in this Vlogmas series, please go back and watch them um, so you can, of course, get the full, full experience of Vlogmas with me and how my Vlogmas has went or been going. Um, also, I've been using this in my Damien brush, so I really like both. I don't really like one over the other. I really like both. They both glide right through my hair, so yeah, love them both. And um, yeah, if you have not, or if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you're a true girl, welcome, 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 baby, welcome back. And of course, if you like this video, why not just give it a thumbs up, you know? Support your girl. So I'm gonna get this back real quick. All right. how we're gonna be for the rest of the night so i will see you guys in the next video and as always peace and love see you guys next time Okay, so guys, on this day, I just decided to unbox the knife set that I got the other day that I showed you guys in my other vlog. Obviously, again, if y'all haven't seen my other vlogs, go and watch them. And I'm just showing you guys how I um, packaged them and I washed everything and put everything away. So I did the knife set. This is my old knife set. And I did the new pot and pan set that I have. So I'm just showing y'all everything, showing you guys the different knives that come in this package and also obviously the base. I just want y'all to see that because I just thought it was super cute. 
it comes with a sharpener and each of these knives come with like a little plastic tip that like protects it you know obviously so you don't poke yourself so it keeps it protected and covered so i kept those plastic tips um i put them away y'all see me do that later but i put those away and put them to the side just in case like obviously if i need to travel move around i just want to be safe i have a toddler in my household so if you have kids obviously you know you got to think of these things so yes and i'm just washing everything down i'm gonna do the exact same thing with the pots and pans and again y'all see me do that next and yes i'm really excited about everything that i purchased i really was not necessarily i wouldn't say i was in a need of these items as far as the knife set but the pots and pans it was a need to switch those out my pot and pan set was non-stick i believe it was aluminum as well i'm not really sure what actual material they're made out of y'all will see me show them to you guys later so it's a yellow pot and pan set it came with all kind of shapes and sizes it was great for me as long as it lasted i had it for two years but i just wouldn't get it again because of, again the material it's made out of i don't really care for it the material when it gets hot it bubbles and it lets off like a toxic smell and to me i just don't want that in my household again i have a child i just i didn't like that so it was just really time to get rid of them and also the bottom or inside of the pots and pans it was just coming up and it just was not it was not it for me and also just want to mention with this knife set um i was showing you guys before with the bigger knives these have like a fast drying i don't know i guess i'll say material on them because they literally dried instantly when you take them out of the water you just gotta let the air hit them for a few seconds and they are good to go so you don't have to wipe them down if you don't want to if you want to let them air dry you can so yes and i got these set because i wanted something that had like regular handles that were metal because again my previous issue was just was i didn't want that again these are aluminum non-stick pans i got this set from ross so it was about 30 bucks good price but not the best material again stainless steel is the best so if you can get that get that do better do better than your girl okay so yeah again y'all i'm just gonna do the exact same thing with this stuff um unload wash get it together and with the yellow pot and pan set i'm going to donate that as well as my old knife set to goodwill so that someone else can obviously use them because they are still good items they're just not for me anymore and again if somebody is in dire need they'll have access to these items if need be you know so yes go ahead and finish this up and then we're going to move on to the next day because this is literally all i did this day y'all after this i was tired so yeah Welcome back to my channel. Your girl is looking real crazy right now because I'm about to install some locks on my hair. Um, of course, as I mentioned, I was trying to decide between pressing it or locking it um, or, you know, doing my faux locks. 
Um, and I've decided I'm just going to do the faux locks because I don't know. I just feel like if I press it, I'm going to be right back in a week, like thinking of something else to do. So I might as well just do what makes sense. That's going to last me some time. And like I said, up until my birthday, because that's when I'm, of course, going to switch it up again for my birthday, you know? So yes, um, the products that I'm using today is my beeswax, my sulfur eight, and of course you just need a comb. And I, as I told y'all, I saved my locks from last time, so I'm just going to use my same exact locks. And of course, I'm going to use my wrapping hair, which is the... Outray um, expressions twisted up springy twist hair. So this is what I use usually um, when I am doing these locks. I think I opened this pack already. So this is the one I want to work out of. Um, and I'm literally not even going to use this entire pack. So uh, let's go ahead and get started.
currently 1202. We on the second row, so I really want to be done by three, so we're gonna see if I can get done by then. We're gonna see. Wish me luck. And I actually didn't finish until like five because I ran out of hair. So I had to go to the beauty spa store and get another pack of locks. And my wax appointment was at 4.30. So she did that real quick though. She finished in like 10 minutes, ran to the beauty spa store, came back home, finished it up. And I literally chilled for the rest of the day. My camera went dead. Honestly, it just, it was a long day, so. And if y'all want to see a full, like, detailed tutorial of how I do this on my short hair, you guys can go to watch my other video where I did my hair, and I had maybe, like, one and a half inches of hair. So, full detail, okay? If not, you could just follow along here, baby. I'm showing you how to do it right here. So, yeah, these are the products I used as well. Um, I just decided to use this last minute. That red can was not working, so I threw that to the side, okay? Threw it in the trash. Gone. Out of here. Used my Tresemme. It worked just fine. You can find it at Walmart, honey. So, love it. Yes. If you like this video so far, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And, of course, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on so you can know when I'm posting. And of course, if you're true here, as always, thank you guys for your support. Love you, love you, love you. Now my battery and my camera's dying. Y'all, one thing about this, one thing about this camera, the battery gonna die, okay? So, I'll probably just show you guys the end. Y'all have pretty much seen how I've gotten done the first two rows. So I'll probably show you guys the end when I get to the top and record that part on my phone and finish me like wrapping it up. So I'm gonna let this camera charge and again, I'll record the rest on my phone. Which I literally ended up not doing at all. I went to bed. I was so exhausted. So here is the next day. This is the last day of Vlogmas, day 25. So of course, y'all, I really appreciate all of your love and support if you've been tuning into my Vlogmas series. I didn't even do my edges or anything yet, y'all. I don't plan on going anywhere, so 
I'm good, but here's the finished product. Here's the look. Peace and love. See you guys next time. Don't care about no cuffing. You want to keep busting it. Don't let me know when you can. I love you in so many ways. Don't know why you never complain. But you, I can never be shame. And I usually never say never. How shit, look at me today. Lay a vibe, I don't need no sage. Click code and you call it blaze.